So we're looking at Endeavor OS, and I've had a couple hours in it looking around and installing programs and setting things up the way I wanted them. And all the way from the clock and the fonts to the menu itself in my favorites, I've replaced most all of everything that was there and put my favorites in there. You don't have to do that. You can leave it exactly. I told it to display as a list. If you go right here and right click and go to properties, you will see show as a list. And I took out the, let's see, show cat application tool tips and application descriptions. I took that out. I did adjust the menu for a minute just to see. I mean, when I get through, I'll make a more precise measurement, but that's neither here nor there. I do have uh, my favorite set up. I got GNOME disk. Let's open that up, select our disk. Go over here to the dots and select Smart Test, and we'll see this is a SSD, and it's only like 120 gigs, but it's only got, it's got seven days and 11 hours on it, according to GNOME Disk here. Let's see, 120 gig hard drive. I did install System Monitor as well. I cannot get the theming to change this to a dark mode. Even though I've changed the system to dark mode, this doesn't seem to want to co cooperate. <laughs> anyway, right now we're pulling 1.8 gigabytes running OBS Studio. I gave it 8, gig 8 gigabytes of swap. Back to my menu here, we're running OBS as it, this is Thunar File Manager. This is OBS Studio, which is running right now, according to desktop and the audio. Caden Live, that is actually the package, the repo version, not the flat pack. Uh, Audacity, Krita, Foco Screen, I installed that earlier to make that outro to the first part one there. GUBC View for a camera, web camera, system monitor, we just looked, looked at. Welcome. I leave this into my favorites until. I know I'm completely through with it. When I'm completely through with this, then I'll just say, don't show me anymore, which I've done anyway. Then I'll take it out of my favorites. I know it's in there. And it's really nice, nice packaging here. Choose popular apps to install. Now, let's click on that real quick. We'll demonstrate this. If you'll notice in the menu, there is no category for office. So let's go right here. And let's select the LibreOffice Fresh, or still, I mean, which is an older version, but unless you need something that's new, myself, I don't even use it so rarely, so I don't need that. I'll get the still. And PDF viewers, we don't have one of those. I prefer Ocular, or all of them really work. Let's just install that now, and we're gonna have to give it a password. And select Y for yes. And let's see. That should give us an office category. LibreOffice is a pretty good size download. So under accessories, maybe we can do this. We got GNOME Disk, Featherpad, PC Man FM. That's on my taskbar right here. File roller, that's for archiving programs, uh, zip files, raw files, such as that. Calculator is my actual calculator of preference. Mousepad is installed by default. Screenshot, tokens, task manager, Thunar, XF burn, I ha actually had to install. Press enter to resume. Now we should have an office category with PDF viewer, Ocular, and LibreOffice. Let's just open this one up. See if there's a help there. Or not a help, but an about. Oh, there we go. About. So this is the steel version, 7.6.7.2. But a full suite, nevertheless. Now, I did use this to actually install a couple programs just to make sure all that would work. 
and it does. I installed also flat packs. Flat packs are not installed by default. Unspell English US may have came in just now as well with the uh, office suite. I don't know, but I know Snow Feather Pad didn't have it. I had to install it. The office suite in the PDF viewer we just installed. Uh, so far, in, by, installed by default, we got Yay, and I've used that. I installed uh, Simple Screen Recorder and Mugshot right here. Which right here, when you click on it, normally that's uh, all you have to do. But if you go about me, then that's Mugshot. Yay, Firefox and NC is installed by default. Okay, so I'll be back when I get some more configuring done. Okay, so I've added to my notes here, not installed by default would be Flatpak, Hunspell, Office Suite, any kind of Office Suite, a PDF viewer, neither Screen Fetch nor Neo Fetch, which Neo Fetch is kind of passe now, but Screen Fetch is not installed. To install flat packs, it's just sudo pacman hyphen capital S flat pack, and then you're going to have to reboot. Once you reboot, you'll be able to install flat packs. Let me minimize this. I'm going to bring up a couple of terminals real quick here. All right, so this one will run the screen fetch. And this one will run cat etsy. OS hyphen release and this one will run you name hyphen A and also Inchi hyphen A and G for audio and graphics. So Inchi graphics we're using I915 driver display X11. Under audio we're using also Pipewire is using also underneath also there. Pretty name here, we got Endeavor OS, it's a rolling release. Uh, screen fetch, there's the kernel, 6.9.8. Bash shell. Okay, let's get rid of those terminals. And I'm just about, I mean, I've got everything in here that I wanted to use or gonna use, and I have been using this now Probably a couple of weeks. I'll have to actually look and see when uh, I recorded the installation video. But I, I've yet to have a problem or any surprises. Things I wanted and knew, inst knew I wanted to install were all readily available. Let's see. If we go back here and we go to the welcome screen. Now, like I said, this will pop up every time until you click don't show me anymore, then it'll, it'll wait for you to open it up. But you can start right here, and I've updated the system a couple times now using the update EOS updater, but you can do the same thing in the terminal, and I don't think there would be any problem doing the terminal. Here you can find out uh, all kind. Of, <laughs> there's just so much in here to even try to cover. You got Bluetooth, there's a good example. Uh, NVIDIA users, there's a good example. Add more apps. This will uh, let this will open up the web browser and take you to the Arch AUR and the Arch repositories. And this is where you'll go also to get more Endeavor OS wallpapers. Now I've already done that, so I won't redo it. But you can even choose which one of these screens that you want it to show up when you open it up. Open up the welcome screen. Let's see what Glances says we're running here real quick. Glances says we're using 1.42 gigabytes of RAM. That's about all I can say as far as the operating system itself. I mean, it's, Arch, it's based on Arch Linux, and that's what I am more familiar with, or that's what I'm more comfortable with using than any other distribution. Now, there's some that I use all the time that I could say the same thing about. But since it's based on Arch, it's going to act and react just like Arch would or does. And you do have some customizations. You know, you can change. Let's see, icon set. What I was going to say, you could go into your settings panel and change those things that we said we wanted 
when we were making the install. Make that little change right there. So this is the settings panel, and this is where where you'll go. One more thing I ought to point out here: this keyboard short, shortcut when you hit the mod key or the Windows key. It's not there by default. You can go to the settings panel here, or you can go to the menu and just type in keyboard and click on it either way. Here's how you add that real quick. Go to applic open up keyboard, open up application shortcuts, and say add. Let's see here. Let's see, where did he go? <laughs> Pop up whisker menu. This is the one I added right here. Super in space. It's not doing anything. Let's open it up. So you just click add, type in that command, xfce4 hyphen pop up hyphen whisker menu. Click create and it's going to ask you to choose a key. And in this case, I selected the Windows or the mod key. That's pretty simple. So I'm going to wrap it up right now. This is Endeavor OS based on Arch Linux. I believe it's number three in DistroWatch. And we'll continue on. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on another video. Bye.